Hello all, Fireman Knowledge Center has fondly named as PKC and has come up with exciting knowledge series. In today's scenario, we are going to discuss emerging landscape of COVID-19 vaccines in India for which the whole world is awaiting. Your question are answered at the end of this video. When will we know a vaccine works? When will the first shot be ready? When will the world be inoculated? And when can I get it? To get the answer, stay tuned. We are going to discuss overview of different candidates for which Indian companies that had declared their progress to develop a vaccine against novel coronavirus, out of which three Indian companies are leading testing vaccines for COVID-19 in humans in exceptional trials. There are more dozens of Indian firms in partnership with other companies and institutions both in India and abroad to bring a working vaccine against coronavirus into global market. So first company that we are going to talk is Bharat Biotech. Bharat Biotech is a partnership with National Institute of Virology, Pune, began recruiting volunteers for phase 1 trial to test safety and neutralizing antibodies of its co-vaccine BBV152 vaccine in 375 healthy volunteers as of 13 July 2020. Bharat Biotech intends to continue with a multi-centric randomized double-blind phase 2 trial with 750 volunteers to see how safe and effective the BBC152 vaccine is in larger group. They are also in collaboration with Thomas Jefferson University to develop a recombinant deactivated rabies virus containing the spike protein against SARS-CoV-2. With the backing of DBT, Bharat Biotech is aiming to enter human trials with the vaccine by December 2020. Second company which is involved in vaccine production is Serum Institute of India which is backed up by Poonawala Group is currently carrying out a randomized double blind study of a recombinant BCG vaccine that is VPM1002 for severe cases of coronavirus infections. The vaccine is further development of 100 years old BCG vaccine which is still widely used to treat the tuberculosis which is uh, still widely used to treat tuberculosis. In the ongoing phase 3 trial, in 5,945 volunteers, Serum Institute is testing whether the vaccine reduces the severity of COVID-19 in high-risk patients. Serum Institute has also said it will begin testing for the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine, that is ADZ-122 vaccine in India soon. It received no go for Indian regulation for its trial protocol test uh, and it's respected to run a revised version of Indian regulator Sadisco in few days of time. After promising a result that have been found around mid-July 2020 for early trials, the experimental Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine, which is also a very promising, Serum announces that it will uh, manufacture million doses of the vaccine after seeking the required approvals. Serum vaccine is partnership with US-based Codaxin in development of attenuated COVID-19 vaccine candidate CDX005, which is a preclinical trial of July 2020. Zyrus Cadilla Healthcare, backed by Department of Biotechnology, has successfully passed a test of safety phase 1 of DNA plasmid zyrovi D vaccine candidate in 1048 volunteers on 5th August 2020. It is said to begin an adaptive phase 1 by 2 trial to test for safe dose and efficiency of vaccine in over 1000 healthy and volunteers started from 6 August. In the preclinical phase, zyrovi D produced a strong immune response in multiple animal species including mice, rats, guinea pigs and rabbits and raised the safety concern. A second measles vector vaccine candidate for COVID-19 from Zydus is currently in preclinical trials. Indian Immunologicals and Australian Griffith University entered a partnership to develop a potential COVID-19 vaccine candidate that would provide a long-lasting protection with single dose as per an April release the company intends to take over live attenuated vaccine strain once developed and carried out clinical trials under Indian regulators in a phased manner. The vaccine development is currently in preclinical stages as per WHO vaccine tracker as of 31st July 2020. Talking about Panache Biotech has entered into a joint venture partnership with US-based Refena to develop, manufacture and distribute a COVID-19 vaccine development by globally next year. 
the Ireland based joint venture is working on an inactivated SARS CoV vaccine, adding in an interview with Reuters that the vaccine is currently in animal preclinical trials with phase 1 human trials likely to begin only after September 2020. It has targeted producing $500 million doses in 2021 and 1 million doses of its vaccine candidate in 2022 as per the report. Talking about Mimnex, which is an Indian Institute of Science incubated startup, has received funding and support from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation to develop a series of recombinant vaccines for SARS-CoV-2. The vaccine will be primarily aimed for the most of the risk group of COVID-19 that is healthcare workers, senior citizens and people with comorbidity connections. Mimnex said in 2020 of May that updates that selection and preclinical trials have been completed for many candidates and more been screened over the next few months. Mimnex has also applied for 15 crores of funding from the Biotechnological in Industry Research Assistant Council that is BIRAC to scale up and manufacture the successful candidates. Other Indian companies in preclinical trials are also there like Biological E that has been backed up by Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. The company is developing a protein subunit vaccine using the part of SARS-CoV-2 spike protein. The vaccine candidate is in preclinical trial as of 13 Jul 31st July 2020. Orbinda Pharma, based in Hyderabad, is also presently conducting a preclinical test for the replication of viral vector vaccine against SARS-CoV-2. Prema's Biotech, based in Gurugram, is reportedly working on triple antigen vaccine candidate and has successfully entered the three antigens which has developed an independent recombinant vaccine candidate against COVID-2, against SARS-CoV-2. Ahmedabad base Hester Biosciences is in collaboration with IIT Guwahati is reportedly developing a vaccine against COVID-19 using a recombinant virus Perinonaxa virus vector primarily an animal healthcare firm and the second largest poultry vaccine manufacturer this will will be the company for the first foray into human vaccines Gujarat Biotechnological Research Center, that is Jirak, has partnered with Nubit Supratech, an Ahmedabad based pathology lab under the Nubrak diagnostic to develop COVID 19 vaccine recombinant and the diagnostic for it. When can I get it? First supply, last this year or early next, would likely go to the rich nation who are deemed by government to work in essential industry or who are at the greatest risk from the virus. When will the world be inoculated? The wait time of COVID-19 vaccine will likely to be begun longer for the people in developing countries which don't have early supply deals. Complication after recovering from COVID-19 Top sources in the health ministry have indicated that the government is taking the long-term effects of COVID-19 very seriously in terms of evaluating how recovered patients are faring. Several complications have been reported after recovery with the reappearance of common symptoms like loss of smell and taste despite the patient being away from the infection. Persistent fever, chest pain, cough, weakness and body ache are some of the common symptoms we are seeing in the patient which are recovered even after four or fifth weeks ago. These are the issues that can solve in an OPD also but there are patients who required high oxygen and were on ventilator support. These patients are coming back to us with the severe breathlessness and weakness and even cardiac manifestation at times, said Dr. Chatterjee. Pharma Center also strongly disagrees vaccine nationalism globally to fight against COVID-19 for economically weaker section of society. Thanks for watching our informative video. To get more updates, please like our video and share our video. Thank you.